Welcome to another video. Today I'm gonna review the RX 550 from MSI. Does it worth it? We are gonna find out. Before we begin, let's see some specs first. It's a dual slot ITX card with 2GB GDDR5 memory, but there is also a 4GB version available. It has a 90mm cooling fan, an HDMI 2.0, a DVI-D and a display port on the back. It uses AMD's Polaris architecture and has 512 core units with a base clock at 1203 MHz. It is as small as a 3.5 inch hard disk drive and has a 65 watt TDP power directly from the PCIe port. I chose this specific MSI RX 550 because I will put it against the GT 1030 also from MSI in the next video and I want it to be as fair as possible. The MSI RX 550 costs about 80 euros. There are also other cheaper and more expensive examples to choose from, although I don't think that it will have a big difference in performance. But let's move on with some benchmarks and start from Unigine Valley first. High settings 1080p and we got 32.5 frames on average with a minimum of 20.6 frames. Next at superposition we got an average of 36 frames with a minimum of 28. At Skydiver using the 1080p preset it did really good on all three tests. A quick temperature burn test showed that the card managed to keep under 55 degrees Celsius on full load and be very quiet at the same time. So now let's move on with gaming. I will display GPU usage and temperatures at all times. Frame count is from the actual gaming session and as always all games had a 2-3 minute gameplay test in order to log the data. Full video benchmark footage you will find following the link on the corner of the screen or in the description below. I kept the settings in a level where the games were playable enough in order to get a better gaming experience. Exact video settings you will find also in the full benchmark video. As you saw yourself with some tweaks in the settings the car performed very well. Although we used low settings in some games we managed to keep it at 1080p with a good frame rate. The RX 550 offers playable frame rates even in modern titles but you will have trouble to keep up in the future as more demanding games appear but still it's a good choice if you are on a tight budget and a used more powerful GPU isn't an option. Let me know what you think about the RX 550 in the comments below. Would you buy the 550 or rather go for a used GPU? Keep in mind that this is a new product with warranty so that is also something to consider before you choose. Don't miss my next video where I will be doing a comparison between the RX 550 and the GeForce GT 1030. So make sure to like and subscribe. See you on the next one.